Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. This is a message to all my streamers out there, man. Whether you play NBA 2K, NBA Live, Madden 18, Destiny 2, Call of Duty, it doesn't matter what game you play. We're here to talk about this Elgato Gaming green screen. H hold up for one minute. I'll be right back. Yeah, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is this green screen that I just collapsed right now. This is probably the best green screen that I've ever seen in my life. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up, which is super duper easy. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a link in the description where you can get this green screen. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's the best green screen, because I'm actually a connoisseur of the green screen world whereas though I've had maybe seven green screens total in my YouTube career so let's hop into the video all right guys so when talking about green screens there are really three things that we always worry about the number one thing is price now as far as the price goes this is a hundred and fifty dollar green screen now I know what you think and you're like bruh hundred fifty dollars hundred fifty dollars Listen, let me get, let you guys understand something. For $150, you have the mechanism, you have the green screen, which is not a cloth. This is a vinyl green screen. And it's all set up inside of a box that you can easily store away. The second thing we always worry about is lighting when it comes to a green screen. What I'll do is I'll show you guys my setup and what lights work for me, and you guys will probably be amazed by what lights I actually use. All right, so the third thing that we always worry about, I actually answer for you guys in the first one. Now, now it's all about how to set up how much time it takes you to set up your green screen how much time it takes you to store away your green screen depending on if you have a dedicated room or if you're in the middle of the action of the house I'm in the muck and the grime of the house right now so my green screen is all over the place but as soon as I got this Elgato gaming green screen it made things so much easier all I have to do is pull up the box put it behind my gaming table and just pull the green screen up I don't have to clamp anything I don't have to buy any different rods I don't have to tape it to a wall I don't have to staple it to a wall I don't have to hammer nails into a wall I don't have to put up a, a tripod stand with the green screen to make sure the lighting is right I don't have to use a wire green screen or a cloth green screen or anything like that it's listen it's been a long time guys since I got my first green screen and I will say that this is the best green screen I've ever had now let me show you guys the actual green screen all right guys what you are currently looking at is the actual green screen itself it comes in an Elgato gaming branded box type of setup it comes with two legs on a bottom that swivel out so that the green screen doesn't fall back or anything like that so if you do purchase this green screen remember when setting it up you want to use the swivel legs now it comes with two locks so just can't anybody go in there such as children or anything like that and the green screen just pulls up guys very simple very easy I don't know what is more easier than this I mean maybe taking a dump I don't know you might be constipated now I'm gonna show you guys the back of this actual green screen you guys see that the mechanism automatically locks it but another thing about it is it locks it at any height so if you're a shorter person and you're not doing standing uh, green screening or anything like that you can use that mechanism to lock it in place and it will always lock it in place unless you push down on it forcibly now I'm gonna go ahead and lock it up show you how easy it is to put it away with storage all you do is move the swivel legs and literally pick it up and go it's not very heavy at all and I put it under the bed man you know what I'm saying it's out of sight out of mind when I'm not using it as far as other green screens I've had Oh man, my wife can attest to this, man. She was always pissed off at me about my green screens being in the way. But the first night that she seen this, she knew, like, she was like, Bae, like, I don't know where that thing came from. The box was kind of crazy that it came in when it got shipped, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, what you guys are currently looking at is my setup. This is my gaming setup. I only use two screens, two 24-inch monitors. I game on one, and I have my gaming PC on the other for recording purposes, and I have my MacBook, of course, to edit all my videos. Now, as far as lighting, you guys see I'm using Walmart lamps. No, this ain't no box lights and all that. No, I'm using two Walmart lamps. I put them up against the wall, white walls with daylight bulbs. Daylight bulbs are key for using your green screen. 
but I want to show you guys how I set it up in OBS. Let's hop into that part. All right, guys, if you made it to this part of the video, make sure you guys put inside the chat that you made it. I want to show you guys how I set up my streams, which is really easy, especially with this green screen. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the image I will be using for the background. Now, this is usually a lot of people's gripes with 2K. Ron, you need to fix some servers, baby. But let's go ahead and show you guys how I set mine up. So all I do is add a source. I add a video capture, which is really easy. I hit OK. And I choose from the drop down menu my Logitech C930E. The reason that I use this webcam is because I'm currently not using this cam link. Now, I will be dropping a video about this cam link. If you don't know what a cam link is, this will be in the description as well. This allows you to use video cameras, DSLR cameras, and vlogging type point and shoot cameras to use for streaming purposes when you're gaming. So just think about it the C930 quality is I. Right. But the quality I'm going to be using in these next ones, it's going to be crazy. But let me show you guys the next thing. Now, when I do put this up, you guys see that a little bit of my background, which is over here, is my house. So what I'll do is I'll cut that out and I'll drop the green screen. It's really easy, man. And remember, guys, I'm using Walmart lamps right now. So I'm just I'm just, I'm just saying I'm, us I'm using Walmart lamps, bro, and it's about to get lit. I'm just it's about to get lit. So I'm going to add a filter over here, guys. First thing I always add is a crop and pan. Some people will add a chroma key first, but I want to go ahead and cut this out, man. Now, I put, let me put it on 55. 55 is pretty good. Now, sometimes some people may want to line up their green screen where their camera is to kind of center it. Me, you don't need it. You can just crop out the access part of your house or anything like that. Now, the next thing I'll do is add the chroma key. Come back to filters, add the chroma key, and look, it does it all for me as soon as you press OK. I'm already chromaed out. Like, literally, guys, I'm, I'm already chromaed out. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys the image real quick. We're gonna take off the display capture. And this is usually how I set up my streams. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull down this corner real quick just to show you guys this. Now this is this is it. This is me getting my gaming in, doing what I gotta do, having fun. It's really easy to set up guys. Like I said, man, this green screen is crazy. All right guys, this is your boy IKC signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Big, big, big disclaimer, guys. This is a $150 green screen. When you check out the link inside the description, make sure you guys weigh your options. I'm just going to let you guys know now, though, for $150, you don't ever have to buy another green screen ever again. I know a lot of people usually buy one green screen. It might not work out. They buy another green screen. It might not be what they're looking for in a general sense, or it might be a little wacky and they have to get another one after that. By the time you keep buying all these green screens, you probably gonna spend like $200, $250, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then those people always be like, oh, I'm gonna get the most professional backdrop. It's gonna be long. I'm gonna be able to walk on it. I'm gonna hang it from a drink, sir. After you buy all them clamps, them tripods, them setups, them lights, you gonna be, listen, Four hundred dollars. I'm listen. I I've, I've been a victim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying Elgato has saved me, as they would say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. This is your boy IKC signing out, man. Gang, gang. Chase money. <laughs>